I know you really well. I know you're a happy-go-lucky kid who wants to stay in the moment, live in the moment, and not worry too much about what's happening in the future and what's going to happen. But I know you're also secretly anxious because you have no idea what you should be doing after high school. If I were you, this is what I would do. First of all, seek God's direction and wisdom. There's no one else, there's no technology, no AI that has the kind of clarity of vision that God does. He sees the end from the beginning. He knows the ins and outs of you and everyone around you and the world and like I said, the past, the present, the future. If there's anyone that's worthy of trust, it's God. He knows the right direction for you specifically. The second thing I would do is to actually write down the life you want. Take four weeks, take a month, take six weeks, however long it takes to just dream. Just envision the life that you want, the life that you want to build. Regardless what it is, just know it's going to take work to get there, but at least envision what kind of life you want. How many hours a week are you working? Are you married? Do you have kids? What kinds of hobbies and passions are you pursuing? What kind of impact are you going to have in the world? Are you going to have an impact in the world? Or are you going to stay local? Are you going to work at home? Or are you going to go to the city? Are you going to travel the world? Or are you going to stay, again, local in, in the United States, at least for me? And so you want to dream. At least take time to write down your thoughts about what you really want. Because that's hard. And it's not an easy or, or simple thing to do. I think we take it for granted that we can write things down and just imagine. Because as kids, we did it all the time. But as you get older, especially when you're 18 and you just graduated high school, it's a little harder to imagine and a little harder to use your imagination because you're so caught up in, in the cycle of going to school, waking up, doing your sports, doing practices, studying, getting homework done, uh, making sure that you turn things in on time. And so all that takes away from the imagination. Write down the dream life that you want to have. Of course, be realistic in a sense, but at the same time, dream big. And the last three things, I'm not really saying them in any order, but try a bunch of different things. Try a bunch of experiences in life. Try a bunch of different workplaces and different jobs. Try a bunch of different volunteer positions. Ask people questions. Ask people questions that you admire and, and jobs that you're curious about or just fields of interest that you're curious about. And and try your hand at it. See if you're good at it. See if you enjoy it. Not everything that you do has to be something that you're super passionate about or that you are really, really good at, but it's worth trying to find out. And then save money. The older you get, the more you realize how much cash makes a difference in life. That you have it in your account or you have it in your hand. Not credit, not necessarily something that you're, you're hoping will take off when you invest in it but actual cash, try and save some cash. And the last thing I'll mention, but not because it's the least important, but build friendships. Pray for the people that you're friends with. Pray even for the person that you might consider a, a potential spouse. And even if you don't have somebody specific in mind, pray for your future spouse and pray for yourself to get ready to be a, a married person, to be a father or a mother, to be a husband or a wife so that you can be prepared before you ever meet this person and you're preparing blessings for that person before you ever meet them. I think these are the things that were underrated, undervalued, overlooked, especially as I was growing up. I believe in you. I'm praying for you. You can do this.